Hi, I'm Moom and I welcome you all to my channel Moom Das Life Handmade. Today is the day where we are hosting our challenge called Beautiful Buffet Table Setting Challenge. Today, along with Nicole North Garden from Nicole North Garden, we are hosting this challenge called Beautiful Buffet Table Challenge where we asked everybody to show their ideas how to set up the buffet table because buffet table setting or buffet table dinners meals are becoming more popular nowadays because they save a lot of time, they save a lot of effort and they are very informal, friendly, people can help themselves so they become very fussless. It's all about kiss, yes, keep it simple, stupid. It's not a challenge or as in the word challenge, it's not about any competition, it's not about judging people, it's not about display of your tablewares, cutleries, crockeries, it's about ideas, how you set it, so that we all can get some ideas, new tips, hacks, how to make life more functional, more simple, more worth enjoying and not stressed up, not stressful. So that throwing a party becomes a more of pleasure even for the host. My channel is all about DIY decor, home recipes, so everything in a budget. And if you love such content, do subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button given below. And do hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time I post my video. I want to thank Nicole uh, for asking me to collaborate and do this challenge along with her. I'll put a link to the playlist as well as her channel in my description box below. So there is a playlist where everybody can add their videos and watch all the videos that have come up with ideas of buffet table setting. And if there is any problem adding your video to the playlist, you can contact either me or Nicole North Garden who will help you add your videos to the playlist. As I said, it's all about keeping things simple and stressless because we want to enjoy a party. When even as a host, when I'm asking people to come over to my home, I want my party flow smoothly so that people can enjoy, I can interact with others as well at the same time. And everything is simple and understandable, though there would be interesting twist in form of different kind of uh, appetizers or different kind of entries but it's simple to follow people know what to go with what what next to move on to so it's something that everybody participates in and it's not a burden to the host life is worth enjoying so here are my tips and hacks now you might have seen my home tour sometime in the past my living room my dining space and the kids room and my kitchen are mainly the areas that get used up when there are people at home for a meal for a dinner party. I can comfortably make uh, about 16 people sit in the house so therefore I invite at a time two or three families for dinner because my family we are ourselves just four members so therefore taking an average of uh, three families including mine like two guests and one host family we are going to be 12 people or three families three guest families and one host family is going to be 16 people so I limit the number of guests first thing so that everybody has got a comfortable sitting area number two I lay out different areas for snacks for drinks for main uh, dinner entries and uh, for my desserts and something for the later a goodbye something to pick on so I have little peg tables or side tables all dispersed around the uh, living space in between the sofas and the chairs so that everywhere people have space to place their glass and there is always a coaster at hand there are always paper napkins or fabric napkins at hand for guests to help themselves to even toothpicks at a small container where they can dispose of their toothpicks. I move my furniture in a way before the party starts so that people can mobilize around the space and gather around in different corners if they feel like and they can interact with everybody around easily. 
So let's go ahead and I'll take you around my different settings for drinks, snacks, dinner and others. This is the hutch area or my sideboard in the dining room where I prefer to set my drink station. So I usually remove the regular decor and prefer to keep the decor to the minimum because it's a small space. So I have added a little runner to give it a fresh look for the evening. And on two sides I have uh, some flower vases and on one side I have family photographs just to give that personal touch to this corner. Not more than this, no other decor here. And on left hand side I have kept the hard drink station for the grown ups. So I uh, keep a few choices for the grown ups to choose from, a bottle of soda. So the bottles are here. Usually my husband, he takes care of uh, drinks for adults as well as children. Uh, otherwise, the guests are very much welcome to help themselves. I have some glasses here just to show how I place it. And uh, the glasses are there for the hard drinks and there are glasses for the soft drinks. And some tissues in the center, paper napkins. And on the other side, on the right hand side of this area, I have my soft drinks. Well, don't look at the bottles, they're exhausted because of last night's party. What I'm showing is a basic example. It's winter, so I haven't kept an ice bucket, but otherwise I keep an ice bucket on this side. And I have a spatula for picking, scooping out uh, the ice for the drinks. Now, there are more glasses in the cabinets below this, so it's easy for me to take items out, different types of glasses out or a stirrer or anything that is required is right underneath. So whenever one wants to take something different than what is outside, it's just so easy to fetch it. Anybody can fetch it, even the guests can do so. So this is how I lay out my drink station for the buffet dinner or buffet lunch. So once the guests are in and we have offered them drinks, it's time to bring out the snacks. Now I prefer to have at least three to four types of snacks and I may repeat one or two of them. So I love these little plates that I can carry them in hand and offer everybody some snacks. Now see the interesting thing. This is a ceramic uh, local pottery beautiful pottery and it has got a matching bowl for dips or a sauce and so is this one another local pottery beautiful one and a dip or a sauce bowl for it so some snacks so one after the other I can bring out snacks for all my guests now this is my latest buy uh, one of my videos in my uh, winter kitchen vignette, I said I bought two more items. This is one of them. I love this very modern, sleek look. And this is great for finger foods and snacks. It looks so classy. So another thing, uh, another one is this round plate. I have two of them. I'm showing you one. And I've got this matching uh, sauce ball, mm, a sauce bowl with this. It's pretty, really pretty. And uh, I can keep it in the center, arrange my snacks all around, or keep it on the side, depending on the kind of snacks I have, the shape and the quantity. And I can serve snacks. People can just grab a napkin and finger food, so people just pick up their snacks and have it. And I also keep some toothpicks handy. Depending on the kind of snacks, I can even have the toothpicks on the snacks or keep it on the side so that people can pick it, use it and along with if I'm using something like this I always keep one empty bowl as well. So if there are snacks which need uh, you need toothpicks for them one can grab a toothpick, pick the snacks and then the used toothpick goes here. So it's a very uh, sensible thing people can have your snacks 
and be convenient. Their hands are free to enjoy the party. Or the other option is I just lay out my uh, snacks in a way, uh, just a few of them, and each piece is, you know, you have those snacks where you have uh, three or four items like cheese and pineapple, and you just poke through them and they stand here. So people just pick it and use it. But I like this idea of keeping an extra bowl for the used toothpicks, either with the plate or lying around in the house so that people have a place to dispose of their used toothpicks. So this is how I like to bring out my snacks along with the hard drinks and the soft drinks that is going on before the main meal is served. I believe you appreciate a little change in this area. The previous glasses have been removed, the empty glasses or the used glasses have been removed. Now as the uh, drinks and the snack session is over, now we are heading on to dinner. So just before dinner, I prefer to clear up this area a little, take away all the used glasses and replace them with some fresh ones. Keep the hard drinks still there, but the soft drinks are gone. Instead of soft drinks and juices, I have clear drinking water. And for the winters or the cold seasons, I like to keep a thermos full of hot water because some people like to have lukewarm or warm water with their food. So I always like to keep that option. For summers, I would like to keep some chilled water or some ice as options here. I have added some glasses for pink glasses for drinking water. Again, as always, there are some napkins and there can be more supply of glasses which are again in my cabinet section below. I always believe a buffet table has a beginning and it has got an end. It should start from a point and one can walk through till the last one. And one need to keep things in a fashion that the guest can understand what goes with what and can easily pick things in their plate and while they're talking. So it's not hindering uh, the communication with other guests and at the same time they can also pick their food and enjoy the party. So. At the beginning, I have laid down my spoons and fork. Now, depending on the kind of dish you have, like you have to pick your uh, dishes according to the menu that is decided. So everything will depend according to the menu. So if knives are required, the knives need to come out. If the soup bowl and the soup spoons are required, that needs to come out. But for a buffet, I prefer to keep my soups and I don't hesitate to bring out my teacups and saucers out and serve clear soups if I'm doing a buffet dinner. So here uh, in my buffet dining table, I have my spoons and forks laid out for anybody to choose whatever they feel like. Some napkins at hand. Now there are two ways I uh, usually do keep napkins separately and the plates stacked together. Or there is another option that I sometimes do is I uh, sandwich the napkin. I place a napkin over each plate. So every time a person picks a plate, one has a napkin with them and don't have to comfort them the second time. Now sometimes people do need something uh, for keeping dal, that is pulses, or gravy. So an option for bowls is always provided on the table. So oh, I must tell you, I always keep two kinds of plates, the heavy glass or the ceramic ones, or and also an option for the lighter ones. These are Melmoware plates. They are uh, they are food safe plates and very helpful, especially when you have kids. So I have small kids at home, so my guests also come with lots of kids with them. So uh, with the kids around, these plates are very useful. They are light and children can pick it and take it to their places to eat. It becomes so much convenient. And I've got the heavy plates. Now, if I have more people, I don't hesitate mixing the plates, ceramic, uh, unmatching sets, glass. I just mix and make the numbers perfect. So I usually have an idea of how many people are coming, but I always keep two extra plates. Sometimes the guests bring a guest with them. It does happen. So one needs to be a little prepared. 
Now depending on the menu, so the first thing I have a deep bowl. Now last night I made some noodles. So it was so convenient to uh, put the noodles and serve in this because it's deep, it's big and with the tongs so it's easy to pick and place it on the plate. It was so more, so much more convenient with this. Or one can use this kind of arrangement for serving salads. Again a very convenient arrangement. Then for the rice, I have the special rice spoon for picking rice from the plate. This is a rice plate. It's bigger than the usual dinner plates and this is one way of using a uh, rice plate or I have one with a deep one that is another uh, rice plate that I have. Then uh, another of my new buys is this borosilicate container. Now this is cook and serve borosilicate. One can microwave it. I'm so much loving this. I had this borosilicate before also but it did not have a lid with it. But this one is just perfect. The size is perfect for my microwave. And yesterday's dinner was so convenient for me because of its being borosilicate. I could heat up my food so much quicker. In just two minutes, I was ready to fill it, refill it, and serve it. And I keep the covers with it so that uh, while I'm just laying out my table, I can keep the food covered. And once the guests have started coming, I can remove the cover and people can help themselves with the spoons. So another dish, so another spoon with that. Now I always serve my breads, rotis or naans, parathas in basket. I just love using a basket. I line it with a little muslin cloth or a tea towel and put my breads in it and then cover it so that the bread stays warm and clean so one just need to remove the top cover pick the bread and cover it back it becomes so convenient that way now again to, as i said one needs to decide the menu first before taking out the serving dishes now i had something like fish and the fish was wrapped in banana leaf with spices and other things in it. So for that I needed a flat thing. Now look at this beautiful shape of this plate. It itself is a fish in itself. It, the shape is a fish. I think you can appreciate it now. It's a fish. And I served my fish. I served paturi. That is fish inside banana leaf and it's steamed fish. So it was easier to add tongs to this plate because one can pick each piece and place it on the plate. Then I have a successive sizes of this Laupela set of bowls with the leaves. They are microwavable again. So this is the biggest one, then the second one, I have the third and the fourth one also. Now I use this for dal. So for the dal, the kind, because it's uh, it's semi-fluid kind of it pulses so one needs to have this kind of serving spoon for it for it to pick from the bowl and place it now again these have got lids so the food can stay warm and covered till the guests come in and then this is another one for I use this for serving raita and I kept them together. Again, as I said, one needs to understand without you standing there what goes with what. So the dal and the raita have been kept together because they make a better combination. On this small vignette, if you like to call it, or this is the only decor on this table, I just added some red false roses here in a glass tied with red um, jute twine on a wooden slice this is my tray for this vignette. Now all the other items are functional. This has some pickles in it. I need to refill this. This has pickles inside it. This is a pepper mill. And this is a small bowl with a little spoon in it for the salt. For anybody who need to add a little more to their plate or the dish. In my part of the world, people love to have spicy food. So 
I also keep a small bowl full of green chilies in it for people who like a little extra heat in their food. Because I have kids at home and a lot of my kids are also kids, I don't make my food super spicy. I keep it balanced but for people who like a little more heat, a little more kick, I also give them some chilies in a little bowl if they, for them to help themselves. So this is how I lay out my dinner table. Now the dinner is over and it's time for the snacks. Now either I set up a separate area in the dining room where I lay out my desserts or I just take two minutes to remove the items that were there laid out for the dinner away and set my desserts here on a clear surface. I usually prefer to have two types of desserts for every party, at least. Well, there can be three of this. Now, the choice of dish again would depend on what you want to serve and so will be the choice of uh, serving spoons. So, I usually uh, prefer to have a dry and a wet combination or two different uh, types which would give a little variation. So, if it's a finger thing, one can just pick it. So, this is a great way of arranging things pile them on top of the other like a pyramid, smaller pyramid for people to pick things or something wet like a gajar kahalba or something like that. One can just scoop it and take it or maybe a shallow or a deep bowl for something like porridge. Uh, well, we have, we call it, uh, rather it would be nice to call it payasam or kheer as we make it. So, this, depending on the kind of uh, dessert that I, that I pick for my party, I have to choose my uh, utensils for the same, then dessert spoons and a stack of plates or a bowl. Again, plates or bowl will depend on the type of desserts that I'm serving. So here is my desserts corner after the dinner party. Now the desserts are also over. Now moving over to the final step just before people part, here we offer people with something which is like a mouth freshener and it also helps with digestion because most of the Indian food have a lot of ghee and spices. So we like to offer things which would help in digestion and make your guests feel comfortable. They should not feel bad and would, they must always feel like coming back. Now depending again on what I offer, so there are so many things one can offer from candies, chocolates, these are the regular stuff, toffees and all to offer. Uh, we also have different kinds of soft, pan. So these are my beautiful cut glass candy dishes that I use and it's over a tray. So I can just pick up the tray and even take it to my guests and offer it to them wherever they are in the house. So I can put different flavored, soft, supari, long, cardamoms, anything I feel like, or maybe pan, maybe chocolates, mint, peppermint, anything I feel like in these and offer it to my guest. I hope you will like my tips, hacks and ideas about the table setting and I'm very, very curious to see what everybody else has come up with. I thank each and every participant to the challenge. And I also thank you for watching this video about the buffet table setting.